beautiful weather for it. It looks too. like they didn't get any rain there, right, Craig? Well, not yet. No, there's rain on the way, unfortunately. It's going to be kind of windy over the weekend with some hidden mist showers. I don't think it's going to be a washout, but bring an umbrella if you're heading to the events out and about this weekend. Here's our Biscayne Bay camera where it is a little bit hazy. We're going to see some fog developing overnight. 77 in Miami, 75 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 78 in QS, 5 on the stickiness scale. Humidity is up there, fairly humid, and that west southwest breeze, that direction usually helps promote fog this time of year. There's the radar. A few showers in the uh, Keys, a few showers over the mainland. Right now in Broward, looking pretty good. We had a few showers mainly south of 595 there along Pines. More spotty showers right now moving through Miami Dade, especially right over downtown, moving over the beaches now and heading on out into the Atlantic. And some pretty heavy showers right now working their way across Florida Bay from about Elliott Key through Ocean Reef down through Key Largo, Tavernier, and Isla Mirada. Those showers are going to be there for the next hour. High temperatures today. Wow, look at this. Mid 80s everywhere, just a degree shy of tying the record in Miami. We, uh, that was 87. We made it to 86. 79 is the normal high. Current temperatures are still warm in the mid 70s, but you can say so long to those warm temperatures because a big cold front's coming our way. Winds basically from the west now ahead of that cold front. And once again, that typically promotes fog, especially when humidities are high like this, anywhere from about 82 to 97 percent humidity. So computer models show the fog develops along the west coast, comes across the Everglades, and by 3 or 4 a.m., throughout the metro areas and takes a while to burn off to ahead of the front and then the front comes through later in the morning. The front right now over North Florida, it has its own moisture with it and when it comes in tomorrow, we're going to see passing showers uh, off and on throughout the morning. Nothing too heavy though, just kind of a rainy uh, morning into early afternoon and then by evening the wind picks up out of the north and the wind's going to blow very hard tomorrow night out of the north and then as we get into Saturday, just a few leftover showers on the breeze. I think those shower chances go down by the time we get to Sunday all in all looking pretty good there across the country. It is pretty chilly over much of the nation down in the 40s along the Gulf Coast uh, teens over the upper Midwest and there's a snowstorm. It's worked its way across the Carolinas. They're about to come to an end and head out into the Atlantic. Our forecast for tonight is going to stay some still see some spotty showers, but fog develops that will be dense after midnight. So maybe give yourself some extra time on those long commutes tomorrow. Cooler showers in the morning hours and then becoming windy later in the day and temperatures steady or slowly falling, blowing pretty hard by afternoon and evening in the Atlantic with winds up to 30 miles an hour and big seas in the Gulf Stream. 70s for a change through the weekend, pretty breezy, some spotty showers and then warming up a little bit middle of next week. Back to you.